Hi, I'm James Bush with Northwest Christian Church, and I was asked to talk about rejection. However, when thinking about it, I realized no one enjoys talking about rejection. In fact, I think we reject the topic of rejection because of the neg negative implications it brings to the table. Rejection is just not fun. <laughs> It is a foothold that the devil tries to use in order to fill our minds with lies that contradict the biblical truths we inherit as children of God. These truths are those such as how much God loves us and how we will never be abandoned by Him. These are easy to find in the Bible, and in fact, it is a great tool and strategy to fight the devil. The devil cannot have a foothold to feed you lies if memorizing verses of God's truths is a constant and consistent practice in your life. However, without God's truth, the devil's lies can infest deep into our minds, which can demoralize and defeat us. For me, I began believing the devil's lies about rejection when I was in sixth grade, when I began looking at pornography. This awful addiction became a part of my everyday life up and through my freshman year of college. It started out as something to help give me comfort every once in a while, when I felt rejected by others at my school. It quickly turned into a coping mechanism though, for not feeling loved by my peers, girls, and even my parents. I began to believe the lies saying that I had no worth and that pornography would solve it. This brought a ton of shame into my life, which caused me to believe another lie. I believed that I had been rejected by God and he wanted nothing to do with the dirty sinner that I was. I thought that if people found out and they thought that pornography was gross, how could a perfect and holy God ever want me? These lies built up and created a nasty cycle of turning to porn to cope with the rejection and then feeling like God rejected me even more. As I entered my freshman year of college, despite my pain, I wanted to get closer to God and dive deep into His Word. One day, as I sat and did my daily Bible reading for school, I came across this verse. It says this, And this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sin. And that's 1 John 4.10. This verse was a game changer in my life. I had not grown up reading the Bible all the time. So as I began to, I saw all these truths that I had been blinded from seeing by the devil's lies. I saw that He chose us. When we feel rejected, we can remember that He loved us first. It was so much so that He sent His Son to be the propitiation or the replacement of our sins. That is the greatest truth I could ever sit on and realize, that any earthly rejection does not compare to the fact that I was personally selected by the God who created all things.